Okay, guys, what are we doing today? I have a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 3 controller. Nope, we are not going to play on the PlayStation 3. I know a lot of you might be even too young to remember PlayStation 3, let alone to remember the game I will play on this laptop, which is older, but not that old to say that it's obsolete. It still rocks, and uh, i7, 4700, has 16 gigs of RAM, and... Well, pretty much that's it, and a touch, beautiful touch screen. So, the point of this video, we will connect this controller to this laptop and actually play games with it. These controllers are quite cheap. It's just one of those DualShock PlayStation 3 standard issue controllers. And how we do that, we grab one part of the cable. We take one of these cables, if you guys remember, if you're old enough, probably. One of these cables, and if you're too young to not remember these cables, you can still find US my, uh, mini USB, I think they used to call them, on eBay for probably pennies. And you can find these uh, controllers for a uh, couple bucks anywhere you want. And uh, let's plug it in and see what happens, right? We plug one side in, and we plug the other side in the controller. And the controller, it's flashing the lights. That means it's not being recognized. It, it's not in ready mode to play. What do we do here on the screen right now? Let's go to uh, devices. Right here, Bluetooth and other devices. I'm not exactly the best on uh, using this touchpad stuff. PlayStation 3 controller, it says here. Almost as if it recognized it, but we know it did not because the lights are flashing, and that's not a good sign. How do we fix that? The link to this uh, piece of uh, software, piece of code, will be on the description of this video. We go to the browser. This link will be uh, on the description, as I said, for you. You hit download on this file. You download it wherever you want. I'm just going to throw it on the desktop because this computer is for testing anyway. It's not really my main driver. So uh, the file has been downloaded. We unzip it. Uh, I'm going to unzip it here. Okay. Script server. You open that folder after you unzip it. Uh, we go to the bin. At the bin... We go to script driver. You see it here? Script driver. We click it. And it will ask us to download to install. And we click yes. And here now, be careful. You must, you must click force install. You must check mark force install. Then you click install. And you wait for it. You hit install again. And it will install slowly all the necessary code to run it. And at this point, it is done. Install summary and all that. We click exit. So at this point, we made this computer think that we installed an Xbox controller. And that's very interesting and beautiful as well. Not all the time. But in some cases, if it doesn't work, in my uh, experience, I never encountered this problem. But if yours doesn't work, before you start using your controller, you open script server, this script server here, and you let it run on the background. In my uh, cases, I never needed to really use it, as you see here. I don't really need it, but if you need it, you can have it. In my case, I don't need it. Now, let's try a game. You are going to love what game I chose for today. Need for Speed Most Wanted. <laughs> uh, for you youngsters, this game might be a little bit way too old. Brook Burke, I remember this like my the back of my hand. Wow, here we go. And as you see, if you click the PlayStation logo here, 
acts as if you click the logo on the Xbox because the computer thinks we're using an Xbox controller. Beautiful. And as you see, we click and it uh, skipped on the game. Now, let's see if we can actually play with it. Just give it a second to open. Right click to continue. You can change. I'm ha I'm using this uh, the circle as an OK or the letter A that you have in other controllers. You can switch them inside the game and make this as your uh, OK. I'm not going to bother with it because I'm just uh, testing it to show you that it actually works. And for very cheap, you can have a beautiful controller to play in. Ergonomically, in my opinion, these are still build the best. I don't know. I just find the uh, new PlayStation controllers and the new Xbox controllers a little bit too bulky and kind of not, not easy to use. Let me put it that way. Not very easy to use. And uh, hopefully this video helped someone out there that maybe didn't have it very possible to buy a brand new Xbox remote. And uh, it beautifully works. It works. I tested it uh, on another computer, on GTA 5, on Blur, on all other games. Just perfect. And uh, with that said... The link will be in the description for the script that we installed here, which was very easy, very small file. And uh, subscribe and like if you wish so. If not, I still thank you for your time, and I hope you learned something. See you next time. Bye!